We're not hitting anything, Shada. Like you see that you you micro flicked off of that guy so far. Look at that. Your crosshair jumps so far. On sites behind the. This shot right here, un ironically, is probably the best shot that you've done all game thus far. Well, it's kind of your mechs, but like you're training the wrong thing. You're training your aim. But the thing is, if you're training your aim in an aim trainer, then technique is always number one, right? But like we're watching you now that your technique isn't even there. Here, I want to show you guys a clip. We need to go back to the fundamentals and the techniques right here. And I'll show you what the difference is. I think I did fucking say I split. But why? I don't know. Peace out, Ryan. Damn, that sky is the goat. Ideally, we do prime our dash here, but it doesn't matter. That guy's the fucking goat. Oh my god. The fact that he even kills one here and then turns around and kills us. Since you're late to the A split anyways, because you thought you were B splitting. I think I did fucking say A split. I would consider breaking that alarm bot and then just going up mid anyways. The Phoenix got the opening kill, you can disrupt the rotates. Right, if you go through spawn here, you smoke this off, you just contain them B and break the chain so that they can't rotate to, to A. And just consider yourself like a almost like a lurker at this point. Because your timing is off, right? You're you're not gonna be up cat with your teammate. The cluster smoke is interesting. The smoke fading quicker definitely got him killed here, right? That Killjoy Molly lasts longer than the jet smoke now. So that's a pretty significant, significant thing, right? Definitely a significant thing. Hate him crouching in the middle with no cover. Yeah, but I don't think he expected his smoke to fade so quick. That Killjoy Molly definitely fucked him up. I guess like the thing that I would change here, maybe, is the timing of our execute. We're forcing this execute without initiator util, right? Our KO was AFK and spawn. You're not playing double initiator. We have no Sova. So forcing this pacing is kind of rough. And then on top of that, I don't like the pathing the switch. I know pathing the switch is like super common and everyone does it and everyone recommends it. But in my opinion, I prefer the pathing to go um, under market instead and you can you can make this argument even stronger in my opinion because they're on specters and stingers so a close range gun so the chances that they do play close are higher right um in this case like he runs out of the market smoke but the chances that he does play close here logs or even lane are pretty are much higher um simply because they have close range weapon so like with that in mind if you smoke dash under market why is this not working smoke dash under market instead of going switch i think you convert that entry a little bit better maybe that's personal preference but i i see pros typically dash under market instead of switch more often times than not but if you still smoke switch and dash to market well then you're in the open no smoke the guy stairs kills you there's a stair guy, he just peeks out, kills you. My stinger needs closer range than specter. Well, I mean, this is still pretty close range, don't you think? Under market. But the first smoke I thought he was gonna updraft, updraft site. Yeah, without the updraft site one, you have to do a little bit higher. But I, I think it just gives him a little bit of an easier angle. Now with my stinger, he just gotta practice the stinger. But yeah, I would change the path thing there, and then I would also change your timing. He was just I'm playing close. Sova on, Sova on BSL. Go back good to smoke, A. Go back good to smoke, A. Good smoke. Gun, come back to A. It's a good call. Ooh. To A. We're not hitting anything, Shada. Like, you see that? You, you micro flicked off of that guy so far. Look at that. Look at this micro flick off of this jet right here. Your crosshair jumps so far. On sites behind the This shot right here, un ironically, is probably On the site. best shot that you've done all game thus far. Because you actually like you weren't in view, so you were forced to take your time more. On site. Right? You didn't insta shoot right there. Like 
Unironically, that was probably the best technique so far we've seen you shoot your gun. But you're 1 HP, so it's rough. It's not it's not your mechs, Shouta. It's well, it's kind of your mechs, but like you're training the wrong thing. You're training your aim, an aim trainer, but like you're just moving. And you're rushing your shots because you think your aim is, you know, higher level. What Pizza says is completely accurate here. But the thing is, if you're training your aim in an aim trainer, then technique is always number one, right? But like we're watching you now that your technique isn't even there. Like to be straight up blunt, like you, you're you training your aim technique and aim trainer, but like it's either not transitioning or I don't know what it is, but there's definitely no technique in these shots. Like this right here is automatically your best technique right here. Because you didn't, you didn't insta blind flick and shoot. You like flicked and then try to see where he was and then shoot. Here, I want to show you guys a clip because we're not doing what this clip looks like. You guys ready to see this? We need to go back to the fundamentals and the techniques right here. And I'll show you what the difference is. Look at this clip from Ye. Look at how he peeks and he moves. Just look at his crosshair placement here, okay? Yeah, I'm trying not to show the calendar. I moved it. I didn't link it, right? Hey, look at this. You see that? You see? You see his technique here? Pre-aim, peak. Pre-aim, peak. And there you go. What are tips on improving movement? Uh, I can buy you. Try to avoid holding W as much. Need a drop. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good tip. Yeah, he's going for wide swings though. But I mean, that looks like technique. That is what proper technique looks like. And then you go back and you look at our our vod, right? You look at our game. What does our technique look like? Not that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, but look at your pre though. Like, where are we even? Okay, like, ignore the fact that he's opping. Where are we aiming? We didn't even stand a chance against this guy. Look at this flick. Look at that. There's an now that we're I'm thinking about this crosshair placement. There's an Asana crosshair placement from a year ago of how he clears angles. The fact that he crouch peaked the judge angle right there is insane. Insane to me. Yeah, I think that's the clip. I don't know if he kills this guy. There yeah, he does. We need to be... This is fundamentals right here. This is fundamentals. Two years ago. Two years ago. Now just think about the the amount of improvement that Asana has made since then, you know? But this is base level. We need to try to at least achieve where Asana was two years ago. Like, unironically, my best advice I think I could give you right now, Shada, is just pick a sensitivity that you have full control over, and then you stop aim training, or you aim train for maintenance. Like you do like... 15 to 20 minutes of aim training a day and then you spend the rest of the time deathmatching and getting your crosshair placement and your fundamentals good. Cause like right now, like, I mean, you've gotten VOD reviewed by so many coaches at this point. This is probably my third or fourth time looking at your gameplay and we're still in the same spot, right? And you're doing the same things as you were doing before. But I think, to be honest, in my opinion, you don't have to take my advice. I think you should change something. And the thing I would change is to lower your sensitivity to something that you can fully control and then purely work on your fundamentals in the game. 
Uh, 60 CM is good. That's what, uh, Ye plays on. What here, these are good peaks right here, Shadow. Look, you peak arches here pretty well. That was good. Like, these peaks are actually, like, probably the best peaks we've done all game. See? See? When you actually have good peaks, you get kills. The first kill of the game, you slowed your, yourself down to get good peaks. Do, do I have to... Do I have to emphasize the fact that fundamentals are number one? Do I have to? I feel like I don't. Like, I feel like I we just proved it. I feel like we just proved it right here. Like, I don't think I have to say anything else.